A lot of weapons in Warframe get overlooked for various reasons. You don't like how they look, or maybe they're not that powerful, or maybe they're simply old and they are powerful, you just didn't know it. <laughs> I know, it's a kooky scenario, but that's not important. What is important is that today, my friends, we're gonna be diving deeper into the Latron Prime. And believe it or not, it packs one hell of a punch. As always, my name is Lazar, and I got a couple of builds lined up. Something cheap, something affordable, with no Prime mods, no Rivens, nothing fancy, but of course we also got the quote-unquote endgame set up with a fancy Riven. That said though, please keep in mind that my builds and guides usually take a new player-friendly approach. I like to take my time and explain a lot of the aspects that veteran players should already be accustomed to, simply because there's a lot of info here and I want anybody watching to understand how the weapon functions and how it should be built. So in case you're a vet and you already know most of this stuff, please, bear with me. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Latron Prime. Let's begin by checking out how the weapon handles without any mods equipped. And for that, just a couple of free shots in this lonely, corrupted heavy goon. All his friends are gone, he's so lonely he has no friends. Just like, that's not important. What is important? The Latron Prime, my friends. This is a semi-automatic primary weapon, bullet by bullet, shot by shot. So it's not a burst weapon, it's a semi-automatic weapon and it has absolutely fantastic precision. As you can see, the bullet goes exactly where you point, no matter the distance, which is fantastic because basically in terms of usability, it's the only good thing it has going for it. So there's that. Now this would be the maximum rate of fire if you guys want to mash your button or maybe bind it to your scroll wheel or even try a macro. Careful with macros because the stance on macros uh, is as following. You do so at your own risk. Yes, they probably felt very gangster back then. As you can see, it does have one additional issue when it comes to usability. It kicks like a mule, but nothing a weapon Exilus mod slot can't fix. And that's pretty much it in terms of usability on the Latron Prime. You know what? I always appreciated this weapon simply because it looks so awesome. It's got a simple design, but yes, yet it feels so awesome. I don't know. It looks wise at the very least. Mod capacity 60 out of 60, and if your Latron Prime has only 30 out of 30, jump into actions and plug in the Auto King Catalyst, doubling your mod capacity. Now, unfortunately, my friends, this is still a necessary step in Warframe to maxing out any weapon that you want to. You can pay 20 plat to have one installed, you can grind it from Nightwave, and you can get a blueprint from the Daily Sortie. My weapon has been 4 mod, a total of 7. Ta 7? I thought it was 5. Well, it's 7 and I would recommend you format the Latron Prime a total of 4 times for the build I'm gonna be recommending you. Accuracy 28.6. Do you wanna go heavy cal? Let's see heavy caliber really, really quick. Multi-shot of course, as well as heavy cal, just to make sure that we get the optimal effect. As you can see, the bullets are landing outside of the crosshairs. From my point of view, on this weapon, oh, look at that. On this weapon, it's not really worth using heavy cal, simply because you got plenty of other awesome mods to use. I would love to use heavy cal, but from my point of view, it's not really worth it, at least not on this one. When it comes to critical chance, you got 22% with a 2.8x critical multiplier, slightly above uh, average critical chance and a lot higher than average critical multiplier. Fire rate of 4.17, magazine of 15, multi shot of 1, noise alarming, reload 2.4 seconds. Here's another issue in usability a magazine of 15 with a reload of 2.4. Uh, not exactly fantastic. If you want slightly higher critical chance, 26%, and a slightly higher fire rate, uh, 5 point something percent, but lower status chance, 14%, look into the Latron Wraith. Though that one has 60 total damage instead of 90. Riven Dispo, Riven Dispo, Riven Dispo, 4 out of 5, which makes this weapon so, so appealing. Status chance 26%, and when it comes to damage, you'll see that the very large majority is gonna be Puncture. Puncture is the second best or second worst IPS in Warframe, depending on your point of view. This one will be dealing extra damage to heavily armored targets. I like Puncture on my weapons. Honestly, I only have something against impact. The rest are fine. And speaking about fine, make sure to unlock your weapon XL small slot, my friends, because as you saw there, this one really does kick like a mule, so make sure to use stabilizer in that slot. It will make your life a whole lot easier. And speaking about easy, let's easily uh, build this weapon now. And you got damage acceleration, multi-shot with split chamber, critical chance, and critical damage combo between point strike, vital sense... And this thing had to be here as well. And you might say, hey, 55% crit chance. Isn't that too low for Hunter munitions? Let's remove it and use something else. And I would love to say, yes, let's do that. 
but it wouldn't be ideal. So I'm sorry, Hunter Munitions is still here, as well as the 260-60 Vital Mods, Rhyme Rounds, and Malignant Force. Malignant Force from Corrupted Void in the Void, this one from Spy Missions, Templar, a piece on the PC trade chat, in case you don't have them, Stabilizer, as we talked about. And the last mod, the option slot, Double Tap. Double Tap, you see that, eh? Double tap. Fantastic, isn't it? Look at that. 20% bonus damage on next shot for 2 seconds. Stacks up 20 times outside of Conclave. Now, a while back, I don't remember, a week, a month, 16 years, I don't remember exactly when, but we got unlocks when it comes to Conclave mods for normal, average, everyday use. So now we can actually use some of these mods and some of them are really powerful, like this one or like the merlock one for example now that 20 percent, you might say hey dude 20 percent bonus damage what's the big deal i got a whole lot from serration ah, 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 ah. it doesn't work the same way this is a multiplicative effect so imagine everything that comes out of the battle yes and then 20 percent on that or more or more or more depending on how many times you manage to stack it up so multi-shot becomes a whole lot more important than before because it's an odd hit effect you get it so if you fire multiple bullets you get multiple hits therefore you can stack this one up higher faster so keep in mind more multi-shot will be fantastic on this one but seeing is believing, so let's see how the Latron Prime actually performs versus level 120 Corrupted Heavy Goons, my friends. Now this is a standard, average, everyday build with nothing special, no Prime mods, no Revens, nothing of the sort. And we're gonna go straight for headshot, take a look. Absolutely murdered a level 120 Corrupted Heavy Gun, take a look at that. The bleeds can actually get up to 55,000, you know why? Take a look at my bonus. It can go up to 500% absolutely nuking these high level targets and again there's no ribbon here there's nothing special and the latron prime simply chunks through them it's absolutely fantastic and all thanks to that double tap thing there's one problem though you see the problem as soon as i get that bonus high enough to 500 percent like now i gotta reload and as soon as i reload i'm gonna be losing my bonus there's a two seconds duration on the bonus and there's a 2.4 seconds duration on the reload. And let's say we increase the reload, uh, well, better said, we decrease the reload time by increasing the reload speed. Even then, you're still not gonna get a fantastic experience when it comes to something like this. So from my point of view, the ideal way to keep that buff up longer, magazine capacity. If you manage to get on your ribbon some extra magazine capacity, it wouldn't be horrible, honestly, because you get to keep that bonus up longer. Right, you get to keep that 500% up longer. Multi-shot as well on a ribbon, you gotta have it, especially if you're gonna be using double tap. Take a look at the performance again. From my humble point of view, this is absolutely fantastic as far as Latron goes. <laughs> Just awesome. Now, there's still one more thing that we can do, my friends. Let's talk ribbon mods, right? Because the priority becomes slightly different when you gotta use something like double tap. And from my point of view, it's 100% mandatory. Now, if I was to use a normal ribbon like this one, it's not a bad ribbon, multi-shot critical damage. It's not fantastic, definitely. But the problem is, if I'm gonna be using this one, then there's not gonna be any room on the build for double tap, right? I need the 260, 60 mods to form vital damage, I need hunter munitions. Where exactly am I gonna be putting double tap? So get on your Riven, or Toxin or Cold, one of the two, just to make sure you can make vital on the weapon with a single 60, 60 mod. Like this fantastic Riven, this is a loaner from a friend. Thank you very much, Zach. Critical Chance Toxin, multi-shot, look at it. Multi-shot, perfect for double tap. Critical Chance is fantastic on the weapon. And of course, you also got Toxin, which means I can only use Rhyme Rounds. And boom, I got my Viral Damage on the weapon and as well as double tap. This should be really, really interesting. First level 120, then we're gonna bump up to level 150. And then Warframe buffs and stuff. Of course, stuff. Okay. <laughs> Baby. It just chunks through targets, man. It's absolutely fantastic. The bleeds can get to stupid high levels, but you're not even gonna see them. Look, I'm just killing them through the raw damage of the weapon. Absolutely. And it's a Latron. It's a Latron. Come on. Take a look at that. And you can repeat this test all day long. You're still gonna be getting the exact same results. We're gonna do it one more time. Why, Lazar? Why? It's clear. I like it. Let's 150. Yeah, let's 150. Let's 150. Why not? It doesn't make a huge difference like it did before because of the changes to scaling at the start of 2020. So there's that. Uh, changes to armor scaling. That. You see any difference? Just because they're level 150, it's the same thing, my friends. It's the same thing. More multi-shot. Absolutely glorious for more stacks. 
take a look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful highly recommend this weapon my friends especially considering that a lateron you know how much a lateron normally people disenchant disenchant not disenchant dissolve lateron ribbons right you can get an unrolled one for 10 15 plat maybe roll it a couple of times again you don't need something like critical chance critical damage multi-shot harmless negative or anything of the sort i think latrons can roll minus ips though so if they can roll minus ips and i'm not guaranteeing this one then go with minus puncture that would be uh minus impact that would be fantastic more vital procs essentially right now it's finally time for Warframe buffs my friends and for that we're going to be using the ever so lovely Lady Mirage Prime and her outstanding buffs of course. Now we do gotta adjust the fashion on this one because as you can see they plainly do not match so we're gonna go like so. This is basically my reimagining of the Prime version of Mirage, well Prime. As you can see the colors match perfectly, absolutely perfectly and here are the colors again if you guys are interested in it this one is a gray it's not a white black black this is the gold from easter pack this is the best gold and of course neon green from classic saturated so you can remake these colors if you so desire when it comes to heavily armored targets you gotta use corrosive projection okay basically this one is meta but if your build calls for something like energy siphon or steel charge or i don't know sprint boost then simply use whatever you have handy don't worry about the aura too much you can also use rifle amp and coaction drift keep in mind that coaction drift simply increases the effect or the potency of your aura Arcanes, however, are a lot more impactful. Arcane Rage R5, this one on headshot, a 15% chance for a massive 180% damage to primary weapons for 24 seconds. This one is farmable from the third Eidolon down on Cetus, just like Arcane Avenger R5. On damage, 21% chance for plus 45% critical chance for 12 seconds. This one is a bonus additive after. It simply stacks on top of what you already have. It applies to your primary weapon, to your secondary weapon, and to your melee as well. Now, this one being a primary weapon, we can also use the Sentinel trick, right? Get yourself any Sentinel, my friends, and on that Sentinel's weapon, make sure you have all of the Vigilante mods. Offense, Supplies, Fervor, and Armaments. 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons. Even if the Sentinel dies and never comes back to life, you will still retain that bonus. So keep that one in mind. Oh, damn it. The Sentinel doesn't match. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just bugs me. It bugs me. Sometimes I try not to look, but it bugs me. So there you go. Oh, <laughs> much more pretty now. Perfect. Perfect. Level 150 corrupted heavy goons as before, my friends. But this time we're going to be unpausing them so they can hit me and I can get my buffs. We're going to be using Mirage's free ability for a fantastic damage increase, as well as her ever so lovely clones. The best animation in Warframe right here, my friends. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, one shot. 927 something. 114 something. There was a slash or there wasn't a slash. It doesn't matter if there's a slash or not a slash. This thing will just kill stuff. It'll just kill stuff in a single shot. Like so. What can I say? What can I say about this glorious weapon? In terms of usability, in terms of novelty, the Latron Prime has nothing. Okay, it's a semi-automatic shot-by-shot weapon. It's not exactly fantastic, but there are a lot of players that simply enjoy this kind of experience a whole lot more than something like fancy laser beams, uh, plasma projectiles, flamethrowers, etc, etc. I am not one of those people. I want my freaking flamethrowers and plasma projectiles and Bluetooth grenade launchers and stuff, okay? I simply like newer design when it comes to weapons, but there's no doubting the power, the absolute power of the Latron Prime. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And if you got any sorts of feedback for me, by all means, drop it in the comment section down below. Also in the comment section down below, if you guys want to suggest any particular type of content, like, hey, Lazar, I would like to see this or that. I know you guys want to see the Merlock thing, but I'm running into a bit of a snag on that one. I promise I will update you on the Merlock build as soon as I got everything I need. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all, damn it, come on, the usual places. <laughs> and if you love the content, consider supporting us via Patreon. Links are in the description down below. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.